the following video, there was a technical glitch in it. I was recording on a Pocket 2 camera uh, using this device, which is a transmitter, transmitting the microphone to the camera. And I was using this microphone, which is a mono microphone. Uh, unbeknownst to me, all the way through the little trek that I did, this microphone was not picking up the audio. The box was with the microphone on the top of it. I've currently got a, a stereo mic, which you're hearing now plugged into it. But that microphone on the end there was what the camera was hearing. Now this was inside a bum bag or a fanny pack, I think they call them in America. So all the way through it, I was unaware that the audio was almost unusable. So in post-production, I've done my best to fix the audio to make it audible. Uh, I am not putting captions up because that is extremely time consuming thing to do. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I apologize for the poor sound quality, but uh, there's not a great deal I could do about it. I've done what I can and it's excellent that the light up there has just gone out. So everything's going well, as you can tell. My hair, I don't know what's happening. I, I shaved it at the sides. I, I shaved it at the sides. You'll see in the video that it's even worse. But um, this is what it looks like without any product in it. Um, time to get back into things. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I hope you're well. And uh, thanks again for your support. I do appreciate it. Uh, especially when there's been very few. Uh, you haven't heard a lot from me uh, because of everything that's going on. Uh, but uh, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, and I need to get working out because pff, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I'll speak to you at the end. Good morning. I'll take this off just so you can hear me. Good morning from Rosedale Abbey, which is this valley in uh, what is it? North, North York Moors, is it? I'll find out. I'll find out. I'll let you know. But I sound like I don't know this area. But I do. Because I used to come here as a kid at school. The school would take us here on field trips. And we'd go for walks all around these hills. There's a, there's a centre further around, around the uh, valley there. And uh, I have one memory. There are lots, but one key memory was um, I did a uh, like a wax drawing, painting thing, but it was wax. Crayon. It wasn't crayon, okay? It was a special wax utensils. It wasn't crayon. And uh, I really got into it. And I stayed up late that night, and the teacher stayed up late just to make sure that I was, I was all right. But I couldn't stop working on it. And it was a bridge somewhere around here on a road. Um, and then I was really proud of it. It meant a lot to me. So I just really got into it. It was like it was almost like a religious experience. This picture. And then um, one of the, it, I went, we went back to the school. And the next week, one of the art teachers offered me fifty pounds for it, which I was amazed about. I said no. Gave it to my mum. I thought if it's worth fifty pounds, it's worth five fifty thousand pounds. Was my thinking. Anyway, today I'm going to do a little hike. Uh, this is more just to uh, try and incorporate this into the... We're allotted a certain amount of time to exercise, so it's not a massive hike, but um, I, I wanted to do it here uh, because I knew it would be quiet, there'd be nobody about, perfectly safe. And um, it's, a, it's a chance for me to test some of the new equipment that I'm using to make sure I can actually manage all this. I'm a little bit rusty, so... Uh, Let's see how we go, and I'll chat to you on the way. It's been um, quite uh, wet this winter. We're now in uh, late January. And uh, if I'd done this last week, I'd have been walking across mud here. 
but everything's frozen. So I'm walking across like oh mud. <laughs> That's frozen. In fact, there's a lot of water here. Uh, it's a bit of flooding because uh, the water tables come up in all the fields and uh, there's a lot of water about it. The moment it's nice. Uh, yeah, where am I going? This may end up just being a test video. There's, um, so let me tell you about why, for well, a few seconds ago, after only been on this for 10 minutes, I, th I thought about packing in and going back. The wind is strong. I'm just wearing tracksuit bottoms, although I do have a lightning underneath. But they're just cotton and they're, they're not windproof. And this wind is bitter cold and it's strong. So I can't fly the drone, which I've got in the backpack. And uh, I'm, I'm leaving it there. I could have left it in the car, but I decided I'll oh, bring it because I've got to get used to carrying this weight. But uh, I'm also going uphill. And uh, looking ahead of me, it gets quite steep. So it's, good. it's definitely going to be a workout. And then I've got to go all the way along the edge, all the way back. <laughs> I'm finding reasons not to do this, but I'm going to persevere. Because they can't all be uh, a breeze. Some of them can be a hurricane. Right, this, these masks are actually are coming in quite handy. In terms of keeping the wind off. Yes, I like the mask. Ah! It's pathetic, really. I'll get my legs. I'll get my hiking legs back soon. I am proceeding very, very slowly. past the farmer by there, she was out of her dogs. And I'm like, look at me. I'm ready for the Antarctic. She was out in a sleeveless body warmer in wellies. I was just looking at my jacket thinking, that's not what she's wearing in countryside. One, it looks terrible because it, it sticks out like a sore thumb. It doesn't blend in. It startled the animals. And I've thought about this before buying a red jacket. But for me, you know, on my own. I've worked in the boat being found by a helicopter. Should that ever be a requirement? So I thought, right, I'll get the red uh, jacket instead, than, rather than the green camouflage one, so they'll never find me. And as a result, I attract every animal that's ever been. <laughs> Sheep, fools, they all want to kill me. Anyway, the farm, the farmer, the, the farmer there said, "If I just continue on down here, there should be the road. Pull the road up, and then you're up onto the, the top of the moor. That's the moor just up there. So uh, that's where we're heading. I've just got one. There's the road. Is that the road just down there. Perfect. And uh, here we go. Fab. Are you having fun? Are you?" Don't, don't, don't say you are if you're not. Thank you.
man. So I just came up this side of this river, like a river of ice, thick ice. Jesus! And now I've got to climb up here. If you can see it, the path winds itself straight up. But it's not too far, I don't think. I can tell that you're worried about me. I'll be all right. You just, you relax, do what you're doing, feet up, go watch a movie. I'll, uh, I'll see you at the top. I don't know who invented this jacket that I'm wearing. You see, there's a, there's a little uh, thing just there, you see that? And I positioned it there. It's decided to hit you in the eye when the wind hits you on the side there. I thought, let's put a little loop there, get next to his eye, and then that'll partially blind him as he's making the way across the North York Moors. Or wherever it is he's going. What do you think, guys? Back it up. Back it up. Oh, ice. Oh. This is not a hard climb. It's, uh, it is. It's more than a 45 degree angle that I'm on the incline. But there's heather either side of this crag I'm going up. And uh, that makes it a lot easier. It's still a bit scary. But because I'm getting old and I'm not I'm not fit, I keep uh, I'm stopping like now. Just to keep my heart rate down really. I don't want to take any risks. I'm not I'm not really uh, fit enough to do this sort of climb yet. It is a climb. I am uh, virtually on all fours. Uh, I'm scared of heights actually as well. Uh, and it's more scary looking up than it is looking down. Though it might not be in a minute when I'm up there. But I'm near the top. Uh, and as I say, it's kind of like, it's a crag cut out. So you, I think I'd feel quite safe. You know, you don't, if you fall, you're not going to fall far. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, I think, the most challenging from a fitness point of view of any of the, the walks or hikes I've done so far. And I thought it would only take me an hour, it's obviously going to take me a little bit more than that. But I'm looking forward to getting to the top because it's flat at the top and then I can just, but it'll be very windy. I expect it'll be very, very windy at the top. So it's pretty much flat and there should be some beautiful views. Although we already have beautiful views of the valley, Rosedale Valley. Oh. So I'm just gonna, I'll take my time guys. I'm, I am seriously just taking my time. I'm not a fool. My heart rate's back down now. I think I got up to like 130, something like that. High for me. It's all in my head, you know, that this is a big deal. But, you know, slowly, slowly. So I'm just looking at the clouds whizzing past. I, I am really enjoying this, by the way. That's the, that's something I probably haven't communicated yet. I'm really, really enjoying it it's a it's a challenge who doesn't love a challenge <laughs> i made it i'm at the top unfortunately it's not the top there's another uh, i don't know 500 yards of heather to clamber over there's no path now but uh and the, the sun is right on the horizon a long shadow. I don't know why the sun's so low. I guess it's the time of year. Why am I glad I've done that? And why was I disappointed to see I've got that ahead of me? But uh, over here there's a, a cairn. So I have to scramble up there. It's a lot easier going though. Oh, I'm chuffed about that. Let's go. So straight over Heather now. There's no path. Just walking on Heather. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you see the shadow there. The sun is getting low. But I found the path. I was really pleased that it's a good one. That was a killer, that last bit. I had a bit of a panic because I thought, hold on. I thought I'd found the path, but it's really unclear. It looked like a sheep track. I thought. Hey, it's getting dark, and it gets dark about four o'clock at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wander 
I don't know where I'm, where I'm going to be. So, I've also got this. I do have a torch with me. I've also got this. This will be fine. This was a bad idea. Oh, oh, God. Man. Oh, oh that was scary for me. So I'm just going to follow this. Might be for about as much as an hour. And then we've got to turn around and come back down the main road to where my vehicle is. Still a lot to do. But uh, I'm not so worried now. Oh, oh my. Panic then. Panic over? I knew there's no reason to panic. I never panic. So I just walked from. Let's see if I can do it. I'm trying to look at the monitor here, see if I can work it out for you. So I've just walked all the way along this line down the path. I'm seeing a house over there. I can also see the village down there, the Rosedale Abbey. So that has to be the road to there. There's other, there's other indicators. There's other indicators. Oh, you want to see them? Okay. in wintry conditions! Good lord! I'm scared. It's just good to be on a road. Nearly <laughs> uh, uh, there. It's nearly over. That's my hair looking. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, this has been a <laughs> I know I'm going to look back on this and think, oh man, I'm so glad I did that. I didn't bottle it. And uh, did I enjoy it? It was hard for me. You know, I'm a heavy guy. I've got a tripod in the backpack here and a, and a drone in my back. You know, I'm carrying a lot of weight here. Plus, I've not been exercising for, for a long time. I say exercise and I've not been active for a long time because of various lockdowns and whatnot. So it has been very testing. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to look back and think, man, I'm glad I did that. And I am. I'm not quite back yet. Close.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It doesn't. It's very difficult to get the um, to get to get the how steep things are captured properly on on video, and it's probably because they're not actually very steep. They're just steep to me because I'm a bit scared. I'm a scaredy weirdy when it comes to heights. But that slope I climbed up was was literally in all fours, which I didn't show because I'm so embarrassed by my physique right now. I didn't. I didn't show the wide shots, which is, well, I, I, I just have to get over that and just do it. But um, I did want to point out that the road at the end, uh, the icy road, uh, that was thick ice all the way down. I fell uh, at halfway down there. I fell, I just slipped on the ice. And um, I, was, I, I was not in a good place at all in my head. I was thinking, I don't know if I can make it back. Which is just bizarre. I mean, it, it did end up being about only about six and a half miles, but that's long enough, you know, for somebody like me. I mean, I'm carrying a lot of weight and with my body weight plus the stuff I've got. And I know I sound like I'm making excuses, but if you add to that the fact that I've got no stamina at all, I don't go to the gym, I don't exercise, certainly haven't been for the last year or so. So things have just got gone crazy in terms of my uh, sort of general health, uh, which I need to get back in shape. Uh, but that hill was like that. It was it was shocking, and I do show a couple of vehicles coming down. I, I just get the end of one sliding, uh, but the water's all pouring off the side of the moor, and it's just covered, and it's all I think it's minus two. Uh, I know it's like it's below freezing anyway, but it was just thick, but that thick of ice and uh, very very slippy, um, and the uh, the climb down to the bottom of the hill was an absolute killer. It was like an S bend, like a Swiss climb and I couldn't film because I, I I kept I had to be so careful about what I was doing so um it made me realize I need I might need to get some little uh, they're called crampons those spikes that you put on your shoes they're quite cheap so I might uh think about getting those if I do any frosty or uh snow stuff again uh lessons all the time been learned I'm going to get some windproof and weatherproof trousers to wear for for jobs like that jobs like that for for hikes like that and um I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I didn't turn around at the beginning and just go home. I, I, it, it, it nearly killed me, not literally, but uh, it did, you know, I, I was I was pushed as much as I could be and I'm so glad I completed it. Uh, and now I want to go do it again, which is great. I'm glad I feel that way. You know, you stop doing these when you stop enjoying yourselves. <laughs> I need to, I've got so much work to do in terms of getting myself sorted out. Look at this hair. But, um... I'm having fun and I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I've got a, I've got a bunch more but they they've got sound problems and video problems and all sorts so I think I've finally worked it out hence this audio is okay and uh, let's get out there and do some more since we're allowed we're in lockdown still but fingers crossed see you next time